Hello everyone, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is the first one I've done in a while, and this is the Roman season. Season 2. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking about a, uh, I suppose, a much more grand building than what we've been doing so far. This is a Roman temple. Um, it's pretty kind of standard design. I will go into more complex versions of this later on with, you know, domes and stuff. But, um, yeah, for the moment, this is it. It's kind of a basic temple, and I suppose the the first thing to know about Roman temples is that they weren't like churches we have nowadays. They weren't, you know, a place for worship. They were they were more a place for quiet reflection and ritual. Um, most actual religious practices would have taken place outside of the temples, but the temples themselves would have housed holy artifacts, uh, had shrines to the gods, you know, whatever. Usually it was one god per temple. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's enough for now, so let's get started on the tutorial. So this entire temple takes up a 32 by 16 plot. So um, if I just turn my interface back on here, <laughs> you can see uh, this is 16 blocks wide by 32 blocks long. The entire temple is raised up on a plinth. So if you want to save on materials, I highly suggest trying to find a bit of high ground because this could get very costly, especially if you're doing it on survival. Um, you can fill the inside of it with dirt or whatever random materials you have lying around. Or you can build the whole thing out of stone if you're using creative. Um, so it's your call. So, um, yeah, basically, taking the 32 by 16 plot, if we build a two wide road, and then uh, <laughs> basically this, this stone structure takes up the entire rest of the, uh, the plot. You can see the edge of it is marked out here with a sponge. No, it's not, but anyway, that's 32 blocks long, just trust me on that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, coming in, we're going to cut a stairway in. So this is four blocks by four blocks, so it's a nice square. And these are just stone slabs and full blocks. Stone brick, I should say. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that phase. In this next phase, we're going to build a grid of eight pillars. And basically, the way you want to do this is pretty simple. We just take a stone brick, followed by five stone smooth stone uh, blocks, and then it's two half slabs, uh, half slabs, a double slab on top basically. Um, so yeah, we lay out eight of those in a grid like this. Each of them has four blocks between the next and the first ones, I suppose, are placed four blocks from the edge of the plot. Or, well, not from the edge of the plot, but from the edge of the uh, the structure, the tier thing. So um, yeah, that's about it for that phase. In this next phase, you can basically see I've taken the exact same pillar design um, so this is the original eight, and now we're going to make a ring of these pillars all around the edge, um, all on top of the structure. So not too complicated. They've all got the exact same spacing, so it's four blocks, pillar, four blocks, pillar, and it continues the whole way around. Nice and symmetrical, and looks pretty good. So let's move on to the next phase. Okay, next up we're going to lay some double slabs all along the tops of these pillars. So basically fill in the gaps between them. Um, with double slabs in a ring going the whole way around the back and um, also in the front just going across these uh, four pillars here on the inside of this large kind of area I suppose <laughs> we're gonna make a, a sandstone room so basically you know four walls all sandstone I left a gap for a door um, and yeah it's up to you if you want to put windows in these it doesn't really suit the look and they didn't really tend to have windows uh, back in the day on their temples, so uh, it, it's really up to you, whatever looks best. I've also put a an extra sandstone block on each side along the back, as you can see like this. So um, yeah, that's, that's about it for that. Oh, sorry, I also forgot to mention, there's just some ordinary stone slabs all along the edge of here, just to add a bit of detail. Um, optional, but it does make the, uh, the stone look a lot better. So, um, yeah, that's it for that phase. In this next phase, we started on the roof, and basically, this uh, this stuff here is actually clay in this texture pack. But you're gonna want to use something that, I suppose, that suits your own uh, your own style and your own look. Um, so I'm using clay for this for the front. Um, it's gonna be highly visible. So um, I suggest picking a a nice looking material, and you can see the pattern here is two blocks step up two blocks and that keeps going um, in the center and down each side in the front of this clay 
we've uh, we've also put in some double slabs all along the front. So um, sorry, not double slabs. Those are just ordinary half slabs. Um, this gives quite a nice effect later on. And um, the only other thing of note is that the uh, the sandstone in the back has been built, and it, it pretty much matches the clay in the front. So it's two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, four, two, two, two. Um, so nice gradual slope as always for uh, for our Roman roofs. Um, I put on another slope here in the roof, um, just because these tend to be visible later on. I've also put in some cross beams, which are double slabs, um, and those are on top of where the pillars are. And you can see I've also extended the pillars up to the roof level. Um, so it sounds kind of complicated when I'm trying to explain it, but it's uh, <laughs> it's not too complicated a structure. So um, yeah, let's move on. Don't know why I bothered to pause the recording. I'm right here, <laughs> but yeah, for this next phase, we're going to put on the roof. So these are all bricks. They look a little odd in my texture pack, but um, it's yeah, pretty standard. Um, if you remember from the other Roman tutorials, we're going to do the same gradual slope, which is alternating between full blocks and then half slabs, um, with the exception that these ones are going to end in full blocks. So if you take a look here, there's two rows of full blocks down the center, and then it alternates all the way down until it comes off the edge, and these are all full blocks here. So I suppose you could say the structure isn't really 32 by 16 because it does overlap a little bit at the top, but um, it's okay, it still looks good. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for that face. In this next phase, we've added in some stone half slabs to the front. And the way you do these in these kind of half steps is pretty simple. Basically, you just attach them to the roof, like so. And obviously this is just two of them. And then if you come underneath and put them on the bottom face of all these half slabs and um, that gives quite a nice tiered effect um, so yeah that is pretty much it for the main structure so let us move on to some details so yeah the details are kind of up to you um, I like to put on some extra half slabs all around um, along each I suppose side <laughs> whichever yeah I suppose if that's the front then uh, these would be the sides so um, yeah I like to put some upside down half slabs here um, is this just kind of I suppose that it tears out the roof so it doesn't look like it's completely unsupported. Um, and also adds quite a nice kind of Romanesque effect to it. Um, here you can see I've got two burning pyres. And these are basically just nether rack and some stone brick stairs all around. Um, so those add quite a nice effect. The inside furnishings of your temple are pretty much up to you. Um, in actual Roman temples they would have had... T they tended to have statues in the likeness of a particular god or deity. Um, unfortunately, statues in Minecraft tend to look crap unless you build them on a huge scale. So um, for this one, I've just kind of put a uh, a wolf's head statue, you know, kind of a Romulus Remus type thing. Um, you know, founder of Rome and all that. I don't know if you know the myth, but yeah, basically they were meant to be raised by wolves. Um, I also put in a little sacrificial pool, which was just a nice bit of mossy cobble in the bottom, and then some uh, some stone slabs on the side. The thing is, because these temples were more uh, processional things than anything else I guess <laughs> realistically they just be they, they might have a small statue maybe some large paintings and um, you know some storage rooms for incense and sacrifices and all those other random uh, bits and bobs um, but yeah I, I, I've never been good at building statues so I apologize for this crappy looking wolf <laughs> it was <laughs> closest thing I could I could think of for a uh, such a small scale. You could also use like a symbol of a particular god, like say, um, you know, a, a bow and arrow for Apollo, who's a Greek or Roman god, or um, you know, maybe a, a giant wine cup or something. It's it's a, it's up to you how you want to furnish it, but uh, I don't know. I, I like these buildings because they look so good from the outside more than anything else. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this time. So um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I've been Mr. Artrimsy. Goodbye. All right. So next up, we've got a uh, a pretty simple looking building, but it's it's pretty essential to any Roman town, which is the Forum. So it's a big public open space, and very central to every town. It's a trading post slash a political place slash a place of worship. So it's a uh, it's pretty crucial to Roman life. But um, yeah, so that's coming up next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.
Bye.